Tip number one, plain and simple, you need to learn the wind ring adjustment system if you really truly want to advance to the highest levels of this game, even to be competitive in, a, in, a, in an aggressive and consistent manner. I really truly know for almost certain fact that for the vast, vast, vast majority, because I know there is exceptions out there. I acknowledge you. I know you're going to whoop those those wind ring adjusters. But at the end of the day, um, if you look at the, the top tier players of the world and even just for my own game, I remember playing this game and trying to eyeball it and feel it. And, you know, sometimes I enjoy playing it like that. But when I want to win banners, which I've actually done a fair lot of recently, it has to come down to the accurate, concise, and repeatable system. And yes, I have a video about it. It has been out for at least two years. And check that out. There's a few others in the community. I know that Mr. Golf Clash Tommy and It's RJTV also have amazing wind ring adjustment videos. So check it out. You might not think that it's for you, but once you incorporate it into your game, I think you'll, you'll wonder where it's been all your life. So check it out. Tip number two, plain and simple, is to get your butt into playing some tour play. I made the mistake when I first got into this game of really investing myself heavily into tournaments. And it's not to say that tournament play is a mistake, not by any stretch at all. However, I think that the versatility and the ability to adapt to this game on the fly is absolutely learnt best when you're playing in that tour play situation. And also take your time enjoy the process and really truly focus on leveling your clubs and collecting balls and trying to play those tours with the cheapest and most effective ball you can without you know getting too invested in any one spot looking to the future but taking the time to build up and get ready for the bigger challenges ahead and as you can see i don't even have the diamond series 2 or 13 here on those logos i haven't uploaded it yet i haven't actually achieved unlocking that yet and i really want that to be something that i do together with the community and i think that i've really been upping my game lately the more i've been playing tour play and i really think that that's a good idea for you as well i know a lot of players do that already and that might seem like a second nature thing to say um, but as a person who didn't for multiple years i just want to say it to those who might have been uh, looking at the game the same way as me Tip number three, it really builds off the previous one, is that you should really get started in tournaments. Just as soon as you get your bankroll under control and you're not blowing all your coins in tour play, you really should get into these tournaments so that you can start advancing towards the rewards that you can acquire. Just be aware the nine hole tournaments are not quite as lucrative when it comes to the reward chest. So keep that in mind and you know perhaps uh, temper your participation accordingly but as far as advancing your account and getting the most out of the game the tournament play really is the the other incredibly important thing that goes alongside the tour play and when you start breaking down the shots in a tournament scenario where you can plan ahead for the kind of win that you're going to have and you can plan ahead for the kind of club and the ball that you're going to use for the particular shots it it helps you move past those fundamental decision, decisions and start looking at deeper aspects of the game, such as the, the fine adjustments that you'll be making based on the different wind. And I really think it complements a successful, well-rounded approach to winning and succeeding at Golf Clash. All right, so tip number four, it really expands upon the tour and tournament play. And this is how higher level players, and especially those who are attempting to win in tournaments to get those banners and to get those ball and club rewards, is they utilize a vast, a wide array of, of different notes. And these notes are created by passionate content creators um, these are. This is an example of the notes that I used to create. Um, it's a very passionate project that requires uh, a large amount of time, and that's not really the point. The point for you is that you can learn the components of what makes a successful golf class shot. You can see here from this slide example on this particular hole 12, we have a plan. We know exactly what ball, what club that we're going to use. 
we can see how much elevation. So that goes back to point number one with the wind ring adjustment system is we're starting to get into the specifics and we're really breaking it down. The amount of spin that we do need to use some overpower, a particular amount of curl here. And, you know, you're lining things up in a particular way. And, you know, I get it. That's not for everyone. But for people who want to win and who want to be consistent and want to advance their game to the next level, this is the type of information that it's really important for you to learn to parse. Now, I really think that the Golf Clash Tommy team creates some of the very, very best guides in this community. And my friend, Mr. T.G. Radu, has been creating incredible pro guides. And I just want to shout that out while I'm talking about guides. Now, there's tons of other content creators producing guides. I'd say Mr. G.C. Fenzel and Boris Banco and many, many others. Adam, Mr. Paws and Putts putting out incredible guides. And these are the type of... This is, this is the type of information that, that people are using to, to get those kind of scores that might seem just completely unfathomable when you're new to the game. But I'm trying to unlock the door for you, trying to give you the key to the castle. You kind of get an idea um, of how, how it's being done and how you can do it too. Tip number five is to get involved in this incredible community not just for the spirit of camaraderie and just the incredible humans that exist in this space but for the potential for education on the game as well now these are the logos of some of the golf clash content creators that i would recommend you might have noticed my own golf clash tommy mr radu ben kennedy this is just a start i mentioned a few others earlier in the video as well and there was a multitude a multitude of, of, of streamers who are out there to just give you the best content that they can possibly create. They're continuing to, to improve and to develop and to create brand new ideas. And it's just incredible what we can come up with when we work together. And I think when you take these ideas and bring them all together, it gives you this incredibly different perspective on the game instead of it just being this little fun thing to do when you're playing on the couch you realize that this is a system but it's not one that you are alone to learn it's one that has a wide range of very helpful people that can get you those skills that you desire so you can get the results that you're looking for my final piece of advice is to believe in yourself is really and truly the mindset is so incredibly important. I cannot express in words how often I hear people giving such negative, negative self-talk, self-words, you know, saying things like, I can't, I can only hit great, or wow, I can't do this. And to me at that point, you've literally already lost because I believe that we can truly train ourselves to to hit perfect to to persist through adversity and to stay cool to not let golf clash be the thing that brings you down because when i sit down to play this game i do so because i feel like i've almost earned it i've had a long day it's a great time to sit down and relax and play some games and maybe if it's the thing that's making you mad Maybe you need to just step away for a minute, take a little break and uh, look at it from another point of view because I love our time together in this community and I can't think of anything I would rather do than play Golf Clash with each and every one of you. So when you set your mind to it, when you get a good solid foundation of skills, when you play all of the aspects of the game, uh, it's, it's going to be so much easier for you. So. I know there's a lot of other things that we could talk about, and I do intend to get into those in the future. So leave a comment on this video. Let me know what other parts of the game you want to know about, and I'd be happy to share. So thank you so much for watching, and good luck out there.